brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front seats in this Dodge Ram. Uh, this is a 2008, but the procedure is pretty much the same for any 2003 to 2008 Dodge Ram pickup. You'll need 10 to 18 millimeter sockets with a ratchet and extensions, a T45 Torx bit, pliers, penetrating oil, and a torque wrench. Before working on any part of the electrical system, you'll want to use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove the negative terminal of your battery and set it off to the side. After the battery's been disconnected and the vehicle sat for 30 minutes to allow the airbag modules to power down, you'll need a 15 millimeter socket to undo the two 15 millimeter bolts at the front of the seat brackets. Remove the two 18 millimeter bolts at the back of the rail. You may want to spray the underside of the vehicle where the bolts go through with some penetrating oil. Remove the cover at the bottom of the seatbelt by snapping it out. Undo the T45 Torx bolt holding the bottom of the seatbelt in. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. Lay the seats back. Secure the rear seatbelt around the headrest, buckle it in so you can work on the bottom side of the seats. Disconnect the electrical connector under the driver's seat. Disconnect the two electrical connectors on the passenger side of the center seat. Pull back on the red safety tab on the rearmost connector so you can push down and release it. Remove the wire loom retainer from the front driver's corner of the harness. Remove the connectors from the base of the seats by prying them out carefully with a trim plier or a pair of needle nose. Remove the four 13 millimeter nuts holding the seats together. Remove the seat belt that was securing the seats. And lay them down. Make sure that your seat belts aren't tangled together. Remove the center seat from the vehicle. Carefully remove the driver and passenger seats from the vehicle. You may need a friend to help you if you can't maneuver them out on your own without damaging the truck. Reinstall your seats. Remember to leave them laid back so we can connect them all together. Reinstall the center console onto the passenger seat. Tighten them down with the 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall the driver's seat. Lay it back. And reconnect to the center console. Be sure to line up the nuts with the marks from where they came off. Reconnect 
the electrical connectors. Reconnect the big connector at the base of the seat. Lay your seats back down. Line them up with their bolt holes and the alignment mark on the front inside mount on both sides. Start the bolts in the front of your seat on both sides. Start the bolts in the rear. Using an 18 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten down the rear bolts on the seat brackets. Torque the seat bolts to 30 foot pounds. Using a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten the front seat track bolts. Torque the front seat bolts to 30 foot pounds. Reinstall the tab on the bottom of your seat belt into its hole and over the stud. Reinstall your bolt with a T45 torque socket. Torque the seat belt bolt to 29 foot pounds. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Snap the plastic seat belt cover back into place. Reinstall your negative battery terminal. Tighten it back with a 10 millimeter socket. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.